Hey, welcome to this video. Today we're going to take a look at how to get more out of using the Notes app. So check it out. So in this video, we're going to take a look at what we can do with the Notes app around just taking it a little bit further with our note taking and applying this maybe into some classroom activities you might do um, in, in teaching. So I'm going to jump into Notes uh, and you'll see that I've got uh, some setup here. I'm going to show you this later. The first thing I want to show you, though, is just a little bit of an organization tip. I'm not sure if everyone is aware that you can have subfolders within folders in your notes it makes it really, really easy to just keep everything collated. You'll notice that some of these folders here um, have this arrow alongside because I have subfolders within them. And that just allows you obviously to, to just keep things a little bit more organized. Process is nice and simple. I'm gonna add a new uh, subfolder to this demo folder. So I'll just add one on here. We'll call this, um, maybe we'll just call this whiteboards because I'm not gonna be showing you about this in a second. Uh, and then just tap save. I've already got that one, so we'll try a different one. Uh, here we go, just, do you know what? I'll just call it demo two, as creative as ever. There we go. Um, you'll see that, that just creates as a, as a separate folder. All I need to do is tap and hold, drag that on top of the existing folder and let go. And you'll see that that then is just gonna create a folder as a drop down icon. Okay, so now you can start to have additional folders within those folders. So that's tip number one. Now tip number two is getting a little bit more out of using the Notes app itself. Now in previous videos, I've shown you that you can turn on lines and grids. You'll notice that over here under the more option and lines and grids, but there are only certain lines and grids that you can have. They're fantastic for note taking and quick demonstrations, etc. but you might want a little bit more. I've done other videos showing you how you can do this within Keynote, for example, but let's just try and keep everything neatly in one place and get more out of some of the key apps that you have um, built into the device. What you'll see here is I've just created a couple of different examples and the process is really easy. These are just Keynote created slides exported as images and then imported as images back into Notes for me to just have a writing space, doodle space, whatever it is. If I jump into Keynote just to show you this, these are just the, the created um, pages. These ones are actually uh, created by a, a friend of mine and I've just, um, I'm just using these in this way. You see there's all sorts of different uh, styles that you can have and which means you can create this background as you see fit. How are you going to use it? All I've done then, tap on the three dots, export, export as images. I'm gonna choose all of these. So I'm gonna use the full slide range, tap export. That's gonna then save those uh, images onto my device. And I'm gonna jump back into my notes. Within this uh, folder, I'm just gonna start a new note, call it whatever I want to call it. So we'll call it uh, something I use quite a lot, core apps. And then I tap on the photos, choose photo. See all of those different images are on here now. I'm gonna use this one because it's a great uh, you know, display to use. And now because I've got my Apple Pencil, or I can tap on the pencil uh, icon at the top, when I choose this, I now have this full screen where I can write directly onto this. When I tap done, that's just gonna save it into my uh, filing system for my, for my notes. Now, you can continue to build, You know, this might be a part of a conversation, so I could add another slide in here. For example, I might want to sort of start to list some things and then I can just have this then as an additional sheet. Everything then is obviously tracked over here in your folders and then with that additional touch, you can have multiple folders within folders just to help keep you organized. Now, the final tip I would just say is when you're in your photos library, you're not gonna to want to have to go back and find all of those pictures each time. So what I would simply do here is these are the pictures that I want to use. I'm going to create a new folder or new album, sorry. Um, I'll just call this whiteboard notes. Tap save. 
choose those images that you want to use. And obviously if you create more, you might want to add these into it as well. Tap done. That's going to create this whole new folder for me, which means I'm going to be able to find those a lot easier each time that I want to go back in and, and create them within notes. So they'll just be on my uh, in my albums over here on the left hand side, just for me to be able to find whenever I need to find them. Here we go. Just a folder with just those in. And if I want to add any more, just tap on the plus. So there we go. Keeping yourself organized, being able to just quickly access things, adding those additional notes in whenever you need to, and finding them in a very simple and easy way to update your note-taking skills. Mm -hmm.